We are here today with Betty Raduli. She represents the Pacific, Pacific Conference of Churches. What do you think you bring to COPE? I am a daughter of Oceania and I am here representing the faith communities of the Pacific. So we have a very diverse network of um, communities in the Pacific with many different contexts. But one thing that really unites us together is our faith and our resolve and compassion as a Pacific household to uh, bring forth the best future and prosperity and peace within our region. What, what do you feel about the experience of being here, representing your community, bringing the context from the local, like now rally from the local context to the global arena? Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I, while I do represent my community, this issue is very personal for me. Um, witnessing the climate change impacts that have been happening in my home, the rising sea levels and king tides that my family deal with on, you know, daily basis. But I'm grateful to um, be able to have been able to um, understand the importance of you know, policies as a way to leverage change. We can use these policies to go back home and say, this is what you said, now you must act. And so the real work really happens in the intercession when there is action, when there is visible results in our community. And so I'm really excited to take whatever actions come out from this COP forward into our community to bring them back. And that is, in my opinion, where the best work happens when we're connecting with our communities, with people on the ground, really helping them to increase their capacity and understanding for climate change issues and ecological stewardship issues. Um, but I really take, take those tools of resilience as my personal shield and weapon here. You know, my faith, my community, and my culture. I've, this is my fifth cup, so I've been, wow. <laughs> I've been many of those, and it's still difficult to explain to people how frustrating and inspiring this space is. Frustrating because we have always the, the I don't know, maybe it's media who also make us believe that changes can happen very quick. People will come here, they will agree with everything, and then we will change the world. But there is something that I experience is that it's every time I have to come back inspires me. That is the encounters like ours. So how, how that touches your heart in some, somehow? I can definitely relate to your frustration, you know, feeling like the issues are too complex with so little time to be able to share our messages and some are like not being captured in the way that we want them to. But it is true, these encounters are really special when you share solidarity and we, when you learn that on the other side of the world, people are going through the same thing. And I just met a young woman from Sweden yesterday. She's part of this indigenous community who's facing extraction and um, no recognition for their self-determination and land grabs and people disrespecting their um, wildlife, which is so connected to their culture and their livelihoods. And I thought, how great that we have the same story on different sides of the world. And we didn't know that we could share that solidarity with one another and work together. And I think it's those um, moments where you realize other people's humanity that really shapes how you work in this space rather than just really quick you know interactions and superficial messages we take the time to listen and i find that this type of um, behavioral shift or mindset shift is just like faith it's just like conversion when you convert people or share the gospel or share a message of jesus christ you have to do it one at a time with one person, you know, appealing to their heart. And from there you get like this whole big, big um, network of faith, but everyone has to make it personal. I can, I can feel how much faith 
it's a it's a base for you, you know, in what you do here and also in the local communities. How much faith helps you to keep hope? Oh my God, <laughs> I was just chuckling at myself because it's really important to know that Heavenly Father, you know, God is mindful of us. He's looking out for us throughout, you know, every day. And whatever that you feel like you haven't accomplished, He will do the rest. You know, if your message you felt like wasn't clear, the Spirit will um, convey that message, convey that you message. know? It will... It goes beyond ourselves, yeah, right? It's, it's beyond yeah. what you say. It's what you make people feel and invite people to feel. And He will do the rest. Mm, thank you. Thank you for everything, for your work, for for your presence. I think this is what we bring. No, first of all, we bring ourselves. So thank you very much.